Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to this Mickey and Minnie Mouse's cupcakes. Okay, to make the box, I'm using my pressurizer and I'm working with my cheapest piping bags. I do have the review for this one. Is I'm going to squeeze my bag, then go towards me, and then squeeze again, stuff right there, and then put a bit here. So just gather those three kind of like that, so we get to stay together. I'm going to actually add more and more. Then I'm going to take my scrap tool, I do have the DIY for this one, and I'm going to just start arranging my icing. This is going to be a bow, this is one, the left part from where I'm standing, a hard shape if you can see. The consistency of the icing has to be not too thick, not too thin, not too runny. If it's too runny, it's going to be a mess, you are not going to be able to do any shape. And if it's too thick, it's going to be like too hard to work with it. Then for the other side, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Squeeze, then squeeze again, arrange it as you want it to be. And the reason I'm doing this like that is because I want a fluffy bow. The more icing you have, the fluffier the bow is going to be. This is the other kind of bows that I know how to make. Just a straight line, that in the middle, and then just gather those three together. My icing is kind of loose to be honest for this. And then you just gather those three. And then on the other side it's the same. As you can see I went straight with the lines here, like here and here. And in this one I made like a curve. I'm not really sure if you can see that. But for Minnie Mouse we're going to be using this fluffy and big one. Her boy is fluffier. Once you uh, let your like icing dry a bit, you're just going to go with your rising again and just add like two stripes in there and then arrange it with your scrap tool and the reason I wait for this royal icing here to dry just before I go ahead and add the part in the middle is because if I don't let it dry and my icing is kind of like loose everything is going to dry flat there is not going to be dimension to it there's like two lines here that separate this one from this one from this one. So I let my bows dry for overnight and I'm just going to go ahead and add my polka dots. I'm not going to add a lot of them because I don't want to overdo it. Or maybe I overdid it. I don't know. And then I'm just going to go and take my scrap tool and just arrange them as I want them to dry. Peel them off from the wax paper. Be careful because they do tend to break and I always tend to make more in advance just in case a lot of them break just work with like the um, smooth part of your wax paper on top like this one is the smoothest part for me and then for Mickey Mouse itself or the faces of both I'm going to be using some black realizing squeeze a round shape like that so for the background of this until it's big enough and well since it's Mickey and Minnie I'm just going to go and add another one I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing if you make your shape too thin it's going to be um, easier for you to break like faster because there's not much well product to hold it onto doesn't matter if it's a bit bigger one from the other but as long as they kind of look like the same let them crust I'm going to go and add the ears, so it's just pretty much the same thing as with the black there, but smaller than on the other side. I gotta be honest here, a lot of times I wanted to make a Mickey Mouse and my ears looked like bare ears. Hopefully this is not the case anymore. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other one. And right before the dries, I'm going to be taking a bow and I'm going to pretty much add it in one of those, like that. And then just let it dry. For the funky one, I'm going to pretty much use the classic one and I'm going to add some red going from this part, kind of like in the middle, and then going all the way across, and then going around this, and then filling the whole thing in and just kind of like smooth everything and right before it dries I'm going to be taking some jello and I'm going to just add this bit right here like so 
going to take my scrape tool and arrange the whole thing as I wanted to try. If you have anything, uh, just before it dries, go ahead and fix it. Realizing it dries fast, but it's pretty flexible when it's still wet. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to add some red realizing. And before it dries, I'm going to add polka dots, white ones. And I'm just going to let this dry again. Then I'm going to go and add the ears and pretty much do the same thing that I did for the face. That's it that's for us for the decoration to go and I'm going to be decorating cupcakes. I'm going to be working with my cupcake recipe. I do have the recipe on my channel. Then I'm going to be using my cream cheese frosting and my Wilton 1M. And then I'm just going to simply place my Mickey's and Minis. In some of them I'm just going to add some sprinkles on top. But to be honest, I think I kind of failed in the frosting itself because I think this kind of decorations for cupcakes look better when uh, the swirl is really high as opposed to just like the rosettes that I did because I think the figure itself looks more when the frosting is like higher. But if you do a better piping than I did here, it's going to look much better. As far as for the Mickey Mouse figurines go, I really like them. I had so much fun making them and they are super easy to make. Hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Helps out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have more baking stuff on my channel. And don't forget to share so more people can watch. Thank you so much for your time. I'll talk to you on Wednesday and take care. Bye guys.